Hey guys, I'm back. So, this is the same TV that's been in the past videos, except minus this thing, which is the uh, two dipole magnets that you would find on TVs regularly to bend their beam. But, in this case, what I've done is I've taken the um, vertical and horizontal positives, or just one of the vertical and horizontal, I think, the, in fact, the opposite. This is, this is the uh, horizontal negative and the vertical positive, I think. And this is the um, vertical negative and the horizontal positive. And I've hooked those two together. So, and this is hooked to positive and this is hooked to negative. The positive and that negative, the uh, black alligator clip, are hooked up to this uh, radio, which you can't see. This thing. Anyway, it's putting, you know, audio from the radio, and it's putting into this. And so the um, the effect it has is making like a, almost a galaxy-like effect on the TV, and it has to be turned up pretty high, but if you the uh, TV, TV, and I'm going to turn this on, first plug in the radio, without disrupting the light, whatever, turn on the TV, and you'll see the uh, galaxy-like effect that... it has on the beam. It's pretty cool. So the louder it is, the farther it switches out to the sides. Sorry, I don't know what that vertical is. Well, this really sucks for you guys. You can't see anything. Um, anyway, the way there's like a galaxy like line that's spreading out to the sides. So I can decide if it would look like I guess you can sort of see it from here. I don't know. Do we have any filters? That's my friend over there. Do we have anything that's like sort of semi you can see through a little bit? Try give me the netting stuff. Maybe that would. Yeah, so here's some netting. Maybe if I make it a bit less bright, you'll be able to see what's going on better. Oh, there. It was less bright for a second. Yeah, you can sort of see it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to rotate. Yeah, as you can see, it's going out in this direction. Here. Got some glasses. Yeah, that's not helping. Alright, anyway. As you can see, the, um... Basically, it works. Is let's see if I can just adjust this. Well... Oh, I hit something there. Alright, that's the way it really should be. Got the line to be, like, really far. Anyway, the way it works is that the um, more voltage is applied to the speaker, the farther out it goes like that, and the farther out it goes like that. So, and the uh, reason it's creating that swirling, like, galaxy-like motion, it's, you can see it evident right there, the swirling motion, is because the positive and negative are hooked up oppositely. So while the dot is moving this way vertically, it's moving this way horizontally. So in in my case, the TV, the magnet is twisted. So in fact, this is vertical and up sort of like diagonally from the bottom corner to the top, bottom right corner to top left corner is vertical. And from the bottom left corner to top right corner is horizontal. So in effect, the horizontally is much more, but it's while it's moving one direction horizontally, it's moving the other direction vertically. So it creates this twisting motion. It's very cool. If you can see this without the, um, effects of the uh, camera like making it just look like one giant blob it looks really cool because the dot is like one line and there's like space in the center sometimes and it's really pulsing inward and outward much more than you can see in the video but in effect this looks like just sort of like anything a quadruple would achieve but it looks really cool because the line is twisting around in circles and um, there's like jagged edges to it and there's space in the center sometimes it's much more complex than what you can see here but it looks really cool, and that effect is due to the higher voltage, the greater the magnetic field, and so the greater it will bend the beam to the side, and the effect I displayed of the spinning, the ex effect of the spinning before that I talked about was because the positive and negative, the positive for the horizontal is connected to the negative of the vertical, which connected to the positive of the speaker, and the, you know, the opposite of what I just said is true true for the other ones. So that means while it's moving one direction vertically, it's moving the other direction horizontally, and that makes a spinning motion. So I'll just let you enjoy this for a couple seconds longer, and this is all provided by just a radio hooked up to the quadruple magnet, or not a quadruple, two dipoles.
Let's see if I can get this light to turn on. Nope. Okay, anyway, the, as you can see, it's just one of the regular dipole magnets you would normally see on a TV. hesitate to get head-on in front of these TVs because I know that the phosphor breaks down because it's very bright, especially when it's in one dot in the center, and so that could be emitting x-rays. Also, you can't see it, but normally the um, burnt into the phosphor and also with a little sharpie mark, the center of the dot is normally about right there in front of my finger. So this is pretty well centered, and as, as you can see, it gets centered more and more horizontally as, uh, as the, the higher voltage is, the higher it spreads out, the higher it spreads out that way. So uh, I'll let you enjoy this for a couple more seconds. Thanks for watching.